kids, and I found Allison Lundergan Grimes. <laughs> now, Tuesday, Tuesday is election day. Don't y'all forget to vote. Be sure you tell everybody you know to go to the polls and vote because we need to send a message that we're ready, that she's ready, that she wants to represent Kentucky, and we want to turn out a good vote on Tuesday, all right? Everybody going to help? Everybody's going to help. Okay. That's important. That is very, very important. You know, since I work hard, I always look for people who like to work hard. I look for people who love Kentucky, who love Kentucky's people, and who care about what happens in Kentucky. And so I found this candidate. Now, yeah, she's a female. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Woo! And you know that working together, men and women across the aisle, compromise, working together, communicating, and caring about what comes out for the people is the best way to work. And so I found this candidate that wants to do that. She's eloquent, she's intelligent, she's bright, she's dedicated, she's committed, she's very, very capable, and let me tell you something. She has her own mind, and she knows what she wants to try to accomplish with your help. I'm going to let her do the talking, but I want you to welcome the next United States Senator, who happens to be a female, yeah. Allison Lundergan Brown. Awesome to be back here home uh, with family and to see so many friends. If I didn't know better, I'd say there's some people in Kentucky that are ready to get rid of Mitch McConnell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I am the Kentucky woman who my Republican colleagues have so gentlemanly referred to as an empty dress <laughs> that, that seeks to retire Mitch McConnell. Yeah! Now they don't have the first part of that sentence right, but Northern Kentucky, will we make that latter part a reality? Yeah! I stand here today because so many, each and every one of you, opened your hearts and your homes, not just to me, uh, but to my grandmother, because of you, I stand here as Kentucky's only female statewide elected constitutional officer, the youngest female secretary of state in the nation, and with your help, Northern Kentucky, as Governor Martha Lane Collins said, I will become Kentucky's first female United States senator. I went to church this morning to get some blessings, but I could have never imagined the crowd that I would be looking at today as we are here in northern Kentucky. This election, you all know, it is about much more than just party control. It's about two very different and distinct visions for how we move this state, whether we are going to continue to be in reverse as we have been for the past 30 years with Mitch McConnell, or whether we are going to finally put it in drive and move forward where we should and deserve to be. It's about whether we are going to continue to have somebody in Washington, D.C., who doesn't care about creating jobs, and the only job he's worried about is keeping his own. Or whether we're going to put somebody there who will finally fight for Kentucky and help to grow our middle class and most importantly, put hard-working Kentuckians back to work. That's the difference. Now, Mr. Powell and I, we couldn't be farther apart on where we want to take this state. You see, he says increasing the minimum wage was well, the last thing he will put his name to. It'll be the first thing when I'm in the United States Senate that we do together. It's not just a minimum wage, it's a living wage that each and every Kentuckian deserves the opportunity to share in the American dream, to be a part of a shared prosperity. When it comes to women, well, he's on the wrong side of every one of those issues, too. Is that right? Voting against the Violence Against Women's Act, the Paycheck Fairness Act, Lily Ledbetter Act. He says women don't deserve equal pay for equal work. No. We just celebrated Mother's Day, and I bet he'd have you purchase a car at half the price of what you get for your father on Father's Day. <laughs> Versus my vision, 
I believe that women, they don't belong at the back of the line. They belong at the front of the line. And equal pay for equal work is not just a talking point. We will make it reality. Yeah. 79 cents on every dollar is not acceptable. Together, this Kentucky woman who proudly wears a dress will be loud for 53% of our electorate. They deserve to have a fighter, not an empty chatterbox in Washington, D.C. And when it comes to the much-needed infrastructure, you all know we need. We've got Mitch McConnell voting against a transportation bill. Says he can't find funding for that Brent Spence Brent, Brent Spence Bridge. Well, we will work to make sure that it is not tolls on the backs of Kentuckians. Yeah. Yeah. The economic impact, especially with delay, equally as obvious. This is a vital national infrastructure project which we must work. If our priorities are straight, we must put Kentuckians first and find that much needed funding to make sure that we keep that bridge open off of your back. And when it comes to the jobs that we so need here in the Commonwealth, especially for the future of our state, well, Mitch McConnell went to an area hit hard, much like northern Kentucky. He went to eastern Kentucky where their unemployment is nearly twice the national average, 14%. When asked how he would put hardworking Kentuckians back to work, he said, and I quote, it's not his job to bring jobs here to this state. Well, we already knew that from his voting record for the past 30 years, but we finally got the admission. Kentucky is already for someone with a fresh face, and yes, thanks to my mama, my four sisters, a loud voice that has a vision and most importantly a plan as to how we are going to move this state forward. It's based on growing the middle class and giving Kentuckians a fighting chance to survive. Now Northern Kentucky, you are going to hear and see, I know you have, millions of dollars worth of negative, nasty ads. Mitch McConnell is trying to buy his way back to Washington, D.C. I hope I'm looking out at a choir today. Can I get an amen? Amen! I'm hoping you will be the choir all across this district to help spread the word that this is a Kentucky woman through and through who stands on her own, is an independent thinker, is ready to bring bipartisanship back to Washington, yeah. D.C. Yeah. so that we can put the people through, not the political party. better, I'll work with you. But trust me, you seek to undermine what is best about this state, including our jobs, and you will fight, find a fierce opponent in this Kentucky woman. Good. Now this race, I hope as the sun is shining down on us, I've come bearing good news. That is despite the millions in negative, nasty ads, which you know are not true, that McConnell has spent now 17 polls deep in this race. We stand even or ahead of the minority. Yeah. Northern Kentucky, it is because of you that the state of this race right now, 43 to 42, we're ahead by one point. As I know my family who is from right here in Kenton County, Northern Kentucky roots strong. Come out on May 20th. Have your voice heard. Make sure that you don't just stop there. Put your shoes on and give me some good old-fashioned shoe leather all the way till November. We are running strong. This race, this race, I believe. Kentuckians are sending the message, we will not be bought. This election is not up for sale. We are ready for someone that will finally help to grow the middle class of this state. Yeah. I don't think we look at this race as a toss-up. I think we're ready to toss out our senior senator. Make history together and elect our first
first female United States Senator. Yeah. Thank you all very much.